teammates and great leader. When I was at HP, I had a number of different leadership positions. And like most people, I have some leadership strengths and I have some leadership weaknesses. But while I worked there, there were a few things that really stood out to me, things that I observed that great leaders do. And I just want to talk about those three things. The first is painting a positive vision. The second is lead by example. And the third, share the credit, take the blame. So first, painting a positive vision. When you're someone's manager, you actually have a lot of control over them by virtue of the fact, for one, that their future pay raises, maybe even their employment at the company is deeply affected by you. And with great power, though, also comes even greater responsibility and how you use that power. And if, if the only way you have of getting people to do what you need them to do is the paycheck, you're not a very good leader. I think it was Dwight Eisenhower that said, if you have to beat people over the head to get them to do what you need them to do, that's not leadership, that's assault. <laughs> a much more compelling way to get people to do what you need them to do is having this clear vision. Once you paint that vision, it starts pulling people naturally in the right direction to where you want them to be. Much, much more effective. A bad vision would be, hey gang, if we all work together, we're gonna be able to take home paychecks at the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> a more compelling vision yeah. might be, <laughs> for HP, we design the engines that power the fastest and the most reliable computers on the planet. That to me was something that got me out of bed in the morning. So great leaders use this over and over again. The more you can paint that compelling vision, the better things will be. Next, lead by example. And the corollary of this one is never ask someone to do something that you would not do yourself. It was December of 1999, and actually it was just before Yuletide that this was all decided, but everyone was terrified that when we rolled over to year 2000, there was this year 2K bug that was just gonna send us back into the stone ages or something because all of the computers were gonna stop working. And this wasn't only on HP computers, of course, this was with all the computers, but HP had a big program to make sure that the year 2K problem wasn't gonna affect us. And it came down to the um, came down to deciding who from our group was going to be there physically at HP when the clock rolled over to take the calls, to call in anyone else, right, to just resolve these crises that might occur. And I might have been a logical one to have chosen to do that, but I was terrified that that what would happen, and my boss would ask me because we had this wonderful family tradition where we would go to first night in Old Town, and it was amazing, at that, especially at that time, they had jugglers and they had you know, fun storytellers and dancers and singers, and it was just amazing. And I thought, oh man, if he asked me to do that, I'm gonna miss out on this great family tradition. And did he ask me to do it? No, he didn't. He did it himself. He stayed there at HP, sacrificed his New Year's Eve, and in the end, of course, it was kind of a non-event in the end, but in my eyes, he just went up like 10 notches on the scale because he didn't ask me to do something that he wouldn't do himself. Third, share the credit, take the blame. Now, I suspect some of you may have worked for people that did the reverse of this. Mm. When things are going well, everyone wants a piece of that, and they use words like I, or maybe we. <laughs> but when things are going miserable, all of a sudden it's, those idiots screwed up. Yeah. All right, there's, there's someone named Robert Block, and I'm only quoting him because I like his quote. He was the writer of Psycho, so I don't know if 
A minute. Thank you. All right, Gordon, would you mind giving us a time's report on the speaker? I do have that. Sam, 1240. What was your time limit? That you, what were you shooting for, Sam? How long was it? 12 minutes and 40 seconds. You can't be <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. I, I, well, was, I was right. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> and Susie, you were in at 804 and Jim at 6.15, so Susie and Jim qualify for that. Thank you for that. I'll pass around to you. I'll end up for best speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Criticism, 